Welcome back to Dubsy Bricks, another episode of Building the Batcave in Lego, and it's all change again. So at the moment, the plan was to have the Batcave, Wayne Manor, and then the city back there. However, we decided that it's not going to look right. The Wayne Manor will be taking up 25% of our city space, which is a lot of real estate to be losing on one item, which might just be a lot of gardens and things like that. So what I've decided to do is make this a standalone mock. So... What we're going to do we're going to make this mock and then once we finished it we'll rip it down and then we'll start our custom lego city afterwards um, we may add a back cave into our custom lego city at a later stage however it'll be of a much smaller scale and it'll probably be under say wayne tower or something like that so it's something we will revisit in the future but uh, for this moment in time we are going to do this as a standalone mock so i hope you understand the reasons for it but let's carry on with explaining what's going to be happening with the cave. I'm going to lift this whole back cave, put it up on the table, and we're going to extend this end. So the idea is to put some rock work on here, a bridge or a viaduct coming along there. So we're going to have Wayne Manor, and he leaves the Wayne Manor via the bridge. Down here, we're going to change the peninsula a bit here, so it's a wider section and a little bit lower possibly. And that's where the garage is going to be, or the, just the turntable, and if he does any work on there. And then the Batmobile will escape through the cave there, and we'll do like a rock road below the bridge. The section up here, the computer section, will be where the garage is, and that will be lowered down as well. So we might have the suit room up there, uh, but it'll enable us to bring the rock work. So we're level to the table. That is pretty much how high the cave will be. And then the Wayne Manor, or Wayne Estate, will be this entire area up here so yeah that's what we're thinking about doing so we have moved the back cave up onto this table and as you can see it's enabled us to extend this by two base plates so this here we're going to do the rock face up there and possibly a bit along here and then we're going to have the bridge or viaduct coming across from there which is going to come from Wayne Manor so into the cave it's going to be a little bit of a change as I mentioned before going to bring this out and possibly make it a little bit bigger here just so we can have enough room for the turntable on. I'm thinking about doing away with this slope here with a tunnel through there and pushing the rock work back and just having a pathway coming along there. The, the back wing landing pad is still going to be there and then over in this corner here this whole section will be the computer room and suit room so that will be moved from up there and this section here will be lowered and so yeah I'm going to have probably the suits either side of the computer room on there. So after ripping it all down and starting yet again, we have got the computer room section. That's all there is all ready to go. And the weapons room is going to be there. Um, the rock face, as we said, we brought up all the way there. We've pushed that bit back and extended this out a little bit. So yeah, we've uh, got back the majority of what we knocked down. But as you can see, there is a lot of change on there. So. This bit we knocked down and we've moved back. We put a slight archway in, you can see there, just to give it a bit of character. We built the rock up in front of the waterfall and we've also built the wall at the back of where the landing pad's going to be. This wall here, we ripped down and then we put a hole in the wall at the bottom there so the water goes out and that'd be so the back boat can get out. Now this bit back here, that's where we had the wall with the bat symbol we were building into it we've obviously knocked that out because we're going to be doing a rock face going up on that side so yeah progress has been there was a lot of destruction yet again and we've built it all back up so we're pretty much back to where we were again the computer room i think has changed height very slightly um obviously the garage is gone but gone now which was uh, just there the next thing to do is just carry on building up on the rock work along this section here around the back and here we've got to do a tunnel through this part here. So again, that's going to use a fair few bricks as well. That's going to be the exit of the back cave for the Batmobile. And as you can see, we've got the side wall on the mock there and the first part of the cliff, which will be on the outside of the back cave. And um, as we come around here, you can see again, the rock work, we started to curve it up on the inside there. And there's the exit where the Batmobile will go out and below is where the bat boat will go out. What we're going to do is continue to just build the rock face all the way along, keeping it level with this for the time being, see how that looks. And if it looks okay, that's where we'll stop it. If not, we go back and then 
go a little bit higher up on there. We've continued to build the rock face around here and this is hopefully the level that we're going to. We were up to about here all the way around there but we've decided to change the landing platform for the bat wing. Originally it was going to be a tiled floor um, however we've decided to do a, a snot technique now so studs not on top. So what we need to do is put a row of snot bricks along there and then we can build the platform out. So once we put those in we can then rebuild the rock work up um, I think I'm going to need to put a couple of layers of plate down as well, which could work out well because I think it will then make it level with this here because originally that was one level, one plate lower than that side there. So yeah, we'll uh, get that all put in and then we'll check back in once we've made some more progress. And as you can see, we've started to build up the brick wall um, on the back here where the back wing is going to be, uh, landing pad's going to be. So you can see we've put the snot bricks in there. Uh, so we'll just, uh, when it comes to like, doing the, the landing pad, it will just be a simple case of putting the, the bricks in there and that rests nicely on those plates. Now we're going to be continuing to work our way all the way around here. That's the, the main thing. Um, when we get to here, I'm not convinced about the place where the, the back computers are going to be, basically. I have a feeling this may be a little bit too tall. And the reason being is it's only going to be coming up to so, far, so here and then you have the roof on. I'm a bit worried that it's going to look really dark and dingy and crammed in there. Now, the reason this is this height is just purely because of this step piece here. So I'm thinking about losing that and doing some uh, sort of natural formed stairs in there and just lowering that down by probably three or four bricks. So it's not a big deal on there. We can do that easily enough and we do that all the way around to here as well for the weapons room. So that's one thing we're going to have a think about. Um, yeah, again, more taking down what we've put together, but at least it's not a big deal on that section it is something we can do very very easily and very very quickly and that's it for this update um a lot of progress has been made uh, if you look at the pictures from the very beginning of the episode to the end of the episode there is a lot of changes to the back cave as frustrating as it is having to keep knocking things down just to put them back up again each time we've done that i think it has been an improvement to the back cave so hopefully you agree with that and if you haven't already done so please consider subscribing to the channel Give us a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and please share it with as many people as possible. The more people we get on board, the easier it's going to be for others to find and enjoy the journey with making these Lego mocks. So thanks for popping on by. See you next time. Bye for now.